Hey, good morning, everyone. Um, hope you're having a great weekend or a great start to your weekend. Uh, just got a few things left to wrap up on the roll pan today. I'm gonna weld, and I'm not gonna set the camera up. It, it's not gonna take long to weld these uh, seams in on both sides. So I'm gonna, I already got everything set up and I'm gonna weld those in, grind them down. I'll do some video after that. I apologize when I went to hit the record button yesterday to um, video the the top seam of the roll pan being welded. It didn't record. Um, so when I got home last night to edit everything, I just had the piece that I cut a little too much out and well, at least you got to see that. Um, so today I'm just gonna, it'll probably take 20 minutes, 30 minutes to weld these in. So I'm just gonna do that. I'll come back and show it to you. And then I'm just gonna start doing some light sanding on the bed. I got a little bit of stuff to work on in the cab. I'll show you that. Um, but two or three hours on the truck today, um, go from there. I will have some big safety goggles on today. Uh, I got something in my eye, I think when I was welding, uh, that patch panel up there underneath the uh, passenger side door. I had some splatter get in my eye and it took a couple days to get it cleaned out. So um, you'll see these uh, high speed, low drag safety goggles later on. Um, and uh, that's just so the eye doesn't get irritated um, throughout the day today. But uh, let's get this thing welded and let's get going on week. 11 and I'll uh, see how much progress we can make. All right, we got the roll pan on and everything is welded and sealed. Just resealing the top part, that top seam. That side's there, looks pretty good. It turned out really well. Just gonna level off the top rail there and then uh, get going. The primer. Whoa. Supposed to be pretty good. And the body looks fantastic. I agree. Hey, what's going on everyone welcome back hey i hope you had a great week great weekend and um today's actually sunday i didn't do any filming on an intro for yesterday uh simply just because i was working on the truck didn't have a ton of time i uh, had a few things to get done but i want to flip the camera here in a minute and give you a quick status update we have one section left that i'm working on today on the bed that i hope that i'll have that completely uh, blocked and straightened and um, we can sand it down one last time and um, look to hopefully do the final um, primer and then uh, sand and then paint. So um, making progress uh, for sure, but I wanna give you a quick run around and then I wanna take a break and I'm gonna film what our next project is, is sitting over here behind me or in front of me. And uh, we'll start that as soon as we wrap this up. So let me flip this camera, give you a quick update on where we are. And um, I'll point out a few things as we as we go along. Who, anyone who watches this uh, through completion and maybe some tricks that help me as we go, okay? All right. So one of the things we've been working on most on the truck in terms of body is right down here where you're below the, the door handle at the bottom. It's where a lot of people, I don't know if they kick the door closed, use their foot to push the door closed, but it creates a wavy situation. And so we've been working on that and it takes time and um, 
One thing I'll say here is you'll see a lot of videos and I even said it earlier in some of the like week three, week four videos when I was working on the firewall that you can use a lot of product and you can. However, there's um there's a limit to what's a lot of product, right? Because whatever you put on, you're going to sand off. And the one thing I would say in areas like this is when you're when you're um, blocking or um, using guide coat, or you just feel in your hand and you feel like a you like you feel like a little bubble. Don't add more product. Just you need to make sure you understand what you're sanding. Pay attention to what you're doing. In a lot of cases, you have too much product and you haven't sanded everything down um, to make it flush or to make it smooth. But everything on that panel should just be perfectly smooth and you shouldn't have to keep adding more filler to smooth out a panel. And so I think a lot of times I see some videos out there where people just add more and more product and you really want to add just what you need because whatever you put on here, you're sanding off, right? And, you know, that's time as well. So you can take the time to maybe put a little, little less product in terms of filler. And we use Rage and Rage is not a, it's not a cheap filler. You know, it's like a hundred and I want to say like a hundred and twenty dollars a gallon. So it gets expensive. So whatever you put on, you're sanding off, right? And so the more you add, the more you sand off, the more you waste. So we want to make sure that we do all of that right. But we sanded this a little bit more sanding, maybe. We gotta take the handles off. We have new handles to go on. So we're gonna take these off, tape up the window, um, put plastic over it for the final primer. Uh, the door is going to come off. We're going to, this has all been sanded down with 80 grit. We're simply just going to spray that. Uh, we're going to clean the inside out. That's all done. These are the panels I showed you that we welded back in. I'll show you the other side as well. But we'll hit that with some sandpaper nice and smooth. We'll spray the jams. We've already resanded the back. All that off. This is the other door. It's, it's on um, stands right now. But same thing, you wanna make sure that, oh, the wind's picking up. You wanna make sure whatever you put on, you're, you are, like I said, you are gonna sand off. And so just put the right amount on and you know, you're gonna find life a lot easier uh, when you go to do the final sanding. We have a little bit more uh, blocking on this door, but for the most part, that's all that's left on it. Um, this is the other, we've already, this is the other one here. We've already started sanding this down. So my shadow is holding it up, probably can't see. But we welded all this back in, so it looks factory. And uh, just gotta do a little bit of smoothing here and uh, be good to go there. But the inside is all done. We're not worried about the windshield. We're gonna spray the crap out of that. Um, it's gonna be replaced. We're going to sand the bottom half of the dash. We'll wrap the, the Steering column, we have a new steering wheel, but I'm gonna paint that um, with that. Uh, I forgot, I'll show you this dupli color. It's a plastic uh, refurbishment on, on paint, so we're gonna clean all that up, wrap it, paint it. But bottom of the dash here will be painted the color of the truck, which is a, um, what do you call it? Black cherry pearl. Damn, lost my train of thought there for a second. But we're pretty close. This is the last piece, you can see my finger back there where I'm working on, can I zoom? Maybe work on zoom. Where I have a little bit of straightening left here. I just put this on a few minutes ago. So we're gonna let that dry and I'll finish that up today. Then I have, I'll do this, I'll do an end of the day video too, but that'll be finished. That's just the fiberglass that I put back over the welds. And then you'll notice in the beginning of this week video, I, like I said, you got to make some mistakes. And when I ground the welds down and in the primer, we did the base primer, you could see it. So that means rework. So that means you got to come back, grind everything back down and then re-seal it. So that's okay, just a little bit of time. Uh, this side's completely done. This is just when we did the base primer. You could see a little bit of waviness in the truck. So I don't want to see any of that. So I came in and just um, just really thin layer of filler to smooth all this out. So when you look down, you're not going to see it. Most likely you'll see it when I paint it. But when you look down the truck, the lines are great. 
and um, you don't see that waviness to it. So that's enough for now. We're gonna let that panel over there dry and then um, I'll come back and sand that down. But let me do a quick video on the next project. All right, guys, we're gonna wrap up week 11 slash 12. I gotta sit down and figure out what the hell week it is. But the only thing left on the body, I'm gonna try to maybe zoom the camera down there, is this is, if you remember one of the earlier videos we made, it's like whoever had the truck hit like a pole or something. It was a slight dent in here. Well, what that did is it pushed, probably screwing up the video, pushed that in a little bit. And we've been trying to pull it out. You saw the spot weld earlier in the series. So we pulled a lot of it out. And what we're trying to do now is just straighten it so that the, we maintain the body line all the way down where it looks just like this, right? And this, I mean, it's a factory body line. It's not exactly straight, right? You can, I mean, you can see it in the video. You can see it in person. But I want to be able to make sure everything comes down the same way. And I created a little template out of aluminum. Here it is. Just to kind of, well, that's not it either. Must have put it inside the truck. Yeah, maybe I put it inside the truck, I did. So I created a template where I lay over this and I can see the, where the any might be a gap. So nice little trick to use. If that doesn't do it next weekend when I come out here and work on it, I'm gonna take a piece of sandpaper and lay it over this. And I'm gonna put some um, filler on the back of it to harden it. And then I'm gonna run it down and see if I have any gaps in terms of where the proper body line will come and it'll probably start about right here and come up but hopefully this does it we're gonna let this sit this week and then we'll get back to this thing on saturday um hopefully this will be done i mean i'm really i mean this is we took care of this today we took care of that today show you the new project so this is just what's left so we get this done we are moving and grooving. This is it. And you'll see it. If it's not right, you're going to see it in the primer. You s so we can't paint it. So we have to get this right. And if we can't get this right, the last option, which is not what I really want to do, is we'll go to a, a junkyard and we'll find a truck for parts and see if they'll let us cut a section out. We'll take the welder with us and or zip uh, angle grinder and cut it out. I really don't want to do that. I want to leave the truck intact. Um, but if we can't get this straight, we're not going to continue to deal with body filler. To, to do it, we'll, like I said, we'll take and cut a piece out and then we'll weld that back in. And it's probably faster, but I really didn't want to do that. But anyway, hope you have a great week. Hope you great, um, enjoy in the series. We're close to wrapping up this thing. I say it every week. But putting it together uh, doesn't take nearly as long as this body work does. But again, I hope you guys are enjoying it. Hope you uh, stick around and watch for the Corvair 95 that we're going to be building. And again, uh, the truck is for sale. If you're interested in it, you know, reach out to me. Email down below. Uh, it's in the bio as well. But I hope you guys have a great week. And I uh, appreciate all the subscribers and all the hours of video you guys watch on it. Thanks.